Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple light switch system. Uh, so yeah, let's start. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make a part which is going to be our uh, light. So let's make the size of it to 1, 1, 1. This should make it very small and we're going to make the material neon and the color a nice little yellow or I don't know maybe a better yellow all right this color looks pretty cool and uh, now what we're gonna do is rename it to light and we're gonna add a uh, point light to it so uh, press the little plus icon over here and add a point light and you want to drag it up select your light not the point light your uh, actual light model your part Copy the color of it and the color of the light, the point light this time, to the same color as the uh, light. So now I'm going to change the clock time on the lighting section to uh, zero so you can see the light. And I'm also going to change the range to something like, I don't know, 60. 60 looks good and the brightness to 2 and I'm also going to drag it down and make sure that it's anchored let me just put it down and now what we're going to do is we're going to add another part which is going to be the part that which is going to be the light switch make sure it's anchored and change the color to wherever you want okay so before we start scripting, there's going to be two versions of this of uh, this light switching tutorial. One with uh, clicking and the other one with uh, with basically uh, E to uh, turn off the light uh, uh, slash E to turn on the light. So what we're going to do now is rename your part to switch and create a folder inside of the workspace. Rename it to light one. This is for, for example, if you want to make more lights, and you can always do that later. Let me just rename it to light one. I'm going to show you how easy it is to add new lights. And what we're going to do is make sure that the light switched. And let's just change the color to a nice white. And I'm also going to add a click detector to it. And I'm going to change the max activation range to, for example, 25, and I'm going to add a script to it. Let's do that. And in here, inside of the script, we're going to start by typing script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click uh, sorry dot mouse click mouse click comma connect function script dot parent dot parent dot light dot uh, enabled and they dot no sorry dot light dot point light sorry point light dot enabled is equal to is equal to not script dot parent dot parent dot light dot point light dot enabled so let's go ahead and test this out and see if it works this is the first version it's not as complicated as the next version so here's the light it works fine it lights up the scene and if we press this it should turn it off yes and if we press it again it turns it on uh, so let's go ahead and make these can collide or let's build a little room for us to stand on. Let me just make this to one. Just a basic room, nothing special. And uh, duplicate this wall, make it this big, add another duplicate it and put it here. Duplicate this, make it like that. Duplicate it again and put it here and duplicate the floor put it up and I'm going to change the colors 
to um, be a nice smoky gray and I'm going to disable the point light now I'm going to drag the point light to the room let me just disable this and let's move it up here and make sure it's centered and here we go you have your little room and the slight switch I'm going to put here and I'm going to add a little spawn location which is going to be down here I'm going also to change the transparency of the spawn location to 1 and make sure that can collide is unchecked and the decal is removed and now I can just go ahead and play the game and see if this works Oh, this room is way too small but that doesn't matter I can turn on the light switch it off now I'm going to make the room bigger much bigger something like this should do or even bigger yeah and put it up like this and also uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the material to neo to uh, plastic when it's uh, not uh, turned when it's turned off. So let's do that right now. So in this script, what we're gonna do here is actually instead of changing the material, we can change the transparency because neon gets affected by transparency, or we can just change the material. So let's do that. In this script, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check if script dot parent dot parent dot light dot point light dot point light dot enabled is equal equal to true. Then script dot parent dot parent dot light dot material is equal to and we're gonna set it to plastic. Else script dot parent dot parent dot light dot material is equal to neon. Let's see if that works. It should work just fine. Oh, I forgot to position the light switch, I think. Yeah, I definitely did forget to position it. Let's put it over here and play the game and test this out. So the light is turned off, if I go ahead and press this, it should turn it on and make it neon, and if I turn it off, it puts it back to plastic, if I go ahead and spam this, it still works, there's nothing wrong with that, so yeah, this works. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is, let me just make this neon so you can see it, is a E to toggle the light, so I'm going to duplicate this folder. Or, or actually I'm not gonna, going to duplicate it I'm going to duplicate the switch and make it green and I'm going to remove the click the texture from it and the script actually actually no yeah just remove the script too and we're gonna add a proximity prompt instead and set the action text to turn on turn light on and duplicate proximity prompt and we're going to rename this to turn off and the other one to turn on so the turn off one i'm going to set the action text to turn light off and i'm going to add a script to do the switch so what i'm going to do is script dot parent dot uh, turn on turn on dot uh, triggered colon connect function and what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and just copy this from here actually no uh, we're gonna have to uh, firstly change the material so script dot parent dot parent dot light 
dot material is equal to uh, neon and we're going to do script dot parent dot turn on dot enabled is equal to false actually before we do this in here we're going to do script dot parent dot parent dot light dot point light dot enabled is equal to true and in here we're going to do script dot parent dot turn off dot enabled is equal to true and now what we're going to do is make sure that we turn off proximity prompt is not enabled to so make sure it's unchecked and let's go back to the script now what we're going to do is just copy this paste it here and we're going to set the material back to plastic and this to false and the turn on is going to be enabled so let's set this to true and the turn off is going to be uh, disabled so let's turn this to false and make sure that instead of having turn on we're going to change this to turn off and now let's play the game and see if this works okay cool we spawned in as you can see the light is turned off let's firstly try out this one okay it works let's try out this one as you can see it says turn light on and now it says turn light off and you can just spam it and it just works so cool this is great for making a little light turning on and off system so that's cool now we have a little problem though if I go ahead and turn this on from here and then turn it on as you can see it still says turn it on here and this just doesn't make any sense so what we're going to do to fix this is in here in our uh, E to turn on switch we're going to change the in here we're going to just put an if statement so if script dot parent actually no we can't I don't think we can do that yeah you can't have an E to, to turn on and a proximate and a uh, clickable one at the same time but if you want to do that I don't think you can do that it's gonna take longer time to figure that out I mean it's easy but I'm not gonna be able to do that in this video it will be way too long but let's let me show you how to add more lights so let me just get rid of this room make the spawn location over here and let's say you want to add another light let me just hmm, let me just put the switch somewhere else and just create another folder called the light 2 and I'm going to drag this with the E switch in here and I'm going to duplicate the light and just put it here and make it like a nice red and this to a nice red let me just try to enable that yes it looks pretty cool so we have another light and another switch so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag the switch here and let me show you how to add new lights so basically for now add a new light just duplicate let's say I want to add another one of those clickable lights just duplicate the folder and just put it here let's make this one a nice blue or a nice uh, cyan and i'm going to copy the color code of cyan and do it for the point light and that's it and let's see, let's say i want to add another one of the e to turn on thing we can do that by just duplicating it and putting it somewhere else for example here I'm going to change the light color to for example green and the um, point light color to a nice green again and I'm just going to yeah do nothing basically let me just change the color of the switch to a darker green so you can see the difference 
And let's see how that works. As you can see, it's super, super easy to edit. Let's say I want to turn on this. Oh, oh, this is not the. Okay. Let's say I want to like click on this. I can turn that this light on. And if I want to turn the red one, I can just turn this on and off. And if I want to uh, we'll use the blue one, I can do that. Let me just turn it off. And I can use the other one for the green one. Uh, as you can see, it works fine. Let me just do this. Let me just turn them all on. Turn this light on. This one too. And I forgot to turn on the other one. Oh, it's already turned on. So yeah, this is pretty much it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!